Hello, Brent Fiesta here, and welcome back to Let's Play Spyro Year of the Dragon. In the last episode, we went to the spooky swamp, uh, which was very spooky and mostly empty, and actually wasn't that spooky at all. It was just full of haikus, and we hated it. Now we're going to go to the bamboo terrace. That's it. We got good round numbers. At some point, that's going to get screwed up. I just I have a sense. Um, not looking forward to that. If there's anywhere where it's going to happen, it's going to be here. Hello. Spyro, Rhinox have been harassing us all day. The workers haven't been able to harvest the bamboo needed for the Whirligig to take you to Evening Lake. We've tried asking them to leave, but there's no reasoning with them. Okay, well, Evening Lake, I guess, is our next world, but we need bamboo, so we have to help Ling Ling. Okay. Alright. Yak. Alright, Kyrie Sane. Oh, I like the music here. It's definitely not, like, very Spyro. But I kind of like that. You have fireworks. I wish we could have seen that. Um... Something that seems like it might be a skill point is probably burning down all the bamboo. Which is not a thing that we need to do because we need it. Alright, that's probably the end of the level, I'm guessing. Oh, thank you. We could have helped. Pushing that boulder was hard work. But as soon as I've caught my breath, I'll return to collecting bamboo. Thank you, Chi-Chi. And friend. Okay. Make sure there's nothing behind here. Alright, onward. Something exploded. Probably a firework. Excuse me. Right. That was the old uh, sound of the um, the ox from Town Square. Hello, Dwight. Just like the office. Hey, 64. Get it? Because Nintendo 64. Who keeps exploding things? Oh, it's that... You. You keep firing at that panda. All right, well that's got to stop. Excuse me. Aries. Excuse you. Oh, good jump. Go uh, thank them in a moment. First off, we have to destroy all the bamboo. If I can't go to Evening Lake, then no one can. <laughs> that guy just descend down? Like Mary Poppins style? Excuse me? Can we make that? Maybe. bet we could if I just did that jump better but it also feels real precarious because a lot of that jump is over nothing or at least the end part is so if I get the hover wrong then <sighs> I'm too like nervous too hover shy Okay. 
Oh, I made it. Almost got attacked by the umbrella guy, too. I decided that I don't like this music anymore. Hello, Madison. Good scratch. Oh, we can't talk to them? Well, that's fine. We'll just destroy the bamboo. Go swimming. Since these waters are safe, they keep them free from piranhas, unlike the dumb haiku people, fireflies of the spooky swamp. Also, four extra lives. All right, 22 will probably be enough. This is a real secret, huh? That's some like Crash Bandicoot stuff. We can crash one where there would be just 30 lives hidden on top of the heavy machinery level. Thank you. Ooh, I kind of like this tower. It'd be cool if it had something up top, but you know, choosers can't be beggars. Goodbye. Ooh, is that the little fodder thing? Nothing resists fire here, so not really feeling any particular rush. It's a little, like, cricket thing. Alright, let's make sure not to fall off. I mostly don't like the music because the whole, like, start-stop sort of effect. That seems to be happening. Lots of bamboo. Well, we don't need it. I like these. This little bridge. Hello. We would be honored if you would accept this as a token of our appreciation. Gladly. Is it bamboo? No, it's Tom. Ooh, neat cartwheel. Oh, the emergency escape bridge. Why didn't I think of it sooner? I shall open it right away. Thank you. All right. Well, that's enough to activate the whirly gig, so they're probably going to tell us that as soon as we leave the level. Whatever a whirly gig is. Oh, it's the classic uh, question mark jar. By classic, I mean from the second game. But... I thought Sparks could get that, but that's fine. Um, I don't feel like I can reach... There's a thief in here, too. I don't like that. To all explorers, there is no Yeti here, and there never was. He was just a myth, as far as you know. The Sorceress. Well, thank you, the Sorceress. You've screwed up our perfect round numbers. So, uh, thanks for that. You big jerk. Alright, I can reach it from here. This is fine. That is right this way. Oh, there's the thief. That's back. That's way far back. All right, let's chase the thief a little bit. We haven't gotten to run too much, so. Yeah. 
Oh, I got confused. I thought I saw him out of the corner of my eye. But no, he is just here. That's just right over here, ain't it? Yeah. Leave me alone. I'm not bothering you right now. That is... Yeah, it's just basically taking us on a tour backwards through the level. Don't go that way. Back to the very beginning, where it all started. Oh, did I miss this one? No purples. Alright. Let's go chase that thief some more. Oh! Oh no! Oh, okay. Let's, let's chase the thief, but like carefully. And like good, also. What sort of shortcuts can we take with this guy? The one thing I don't like about these like thief chase scenes is that like it sort of just shows you how small the level that you went through actually was. Although Spyro 3 is definitely balancing that by having the sub areas. We are not making any progress in catching this guy. Oh, maybe a little bit of progress. This lap is going to be the one. I know it. Hello, Pee-wee. Good chase. Okay, um... Since we can't do the thing with the Yeti, I guess we just do this. Oh wait, no. Let's make sure that we got all the bamboo. Well, it feels like we did, and we didn't get a skill point, so... Um... Bully on that. Is there anything hidden behind there? No. No bamboo down here. Unless there's something up here. I think we got it all. And if we didn't, I'm too bored to continue to search for it. Ooh, super flame. Please help us, Spyro. Okay. My friends are trying to go home after a long shift in the fields, but rotten rhinox keep knocking them down. Can you save the panda workers? You're being like fairly paid, I hope. Uh, flame all rhinox. Uh, yeah. Please hop aboard. Make sure to toast the rhinox, but not my friends. Another thing I miss from uh, Spyro 2 is the uh, um, uh, the difficulty ratings for um, for the missions. Uh-oh. Oh, oh no! Okay.
Got him. Okay. Oh, this... I'm gonna miss that one. I swear I got him. That was pretty much the last one, I bet. I'm sure you would succeed if you were to try again. Yes. I'm sorry, Shui. Alright. Lock me in. Though, if I were to give this one a difficulty rating, I would probably give this one a cool two. Maybe a three. Ooh, almost hit that panda. Careful. Why am I so bad at hitting some of these descending ones? Okay, that was good. There's this next bridge right there. I hit him. See? I'm sure. Maybe what this mission is missing is some sort of penalty. I don't know how you would add that, given like how the constraints of the game are otherwise. Third one. Presumably the final one. Got him. Please take this shiny. I was literally at the end every time. Good luck. I believe so. Hello, Rusty. See, we're in this very like Chinese inspired area. Why wouldn't they give the dragons like Chinese inspired names or give them like I don't know some sort of thematic maybe because it was 2000 and it was perhaps challenging to do so in a respectful way not challenging but like um uh, I, don't, I don't really know how to actually describe that Atlas Ooh, we missed a heck of a lot of gems, huh? Um, is all that going to be in the Yeti section? We can only assume, because... Although if I had known, I would have tried to keep it to a nice round number. Instead of this 11 nonsense. Well, we ran through this whole level a couple times, chasing the thief, and we didn't see anything. So, let's just... Yeah, make that assumption and come back later. Got the 311. Amber is the color of our energy. Let's head on over to the Whirly Gig. Don't tell me what to do. You can use the Whirly Gig whenever you are ready. Okay. Just Hop on, Spyro. The sky shall be your domain. New worlds await you. I don't know why I talked to you. Hop aboard. All right. See, that's much better. The whirly gig is ready to take you far away. Just jump aboard. Where is your accent? All systems checked out. A okay. Jump aboard. Thank you. All right. Well. Before we do any of that, first off, I wanted to see if maybe the 
Zoe is not there for the Sparks level. I think the Sparks levels are all going to have to be done after the bosses, which is really kind of disappointing. Um, but we can do the Speedway. I mean, the super secret bonus, which we'll look at from over here. No, we can't see it from over here. We can see it from down here, though. The Country Speedway. So that's where we will go in the next episode. I have been Brett Fiesta. Thank you very much for watching. And I hope your day is going exactly the way that you want it to.